jobs, reviews, and demos, everybody. Thanks for clicking on the link. I appreciate it. So we're going to be setting up the uh, stereo system today. I'm going to unbox everything. I'm not going to video the whole um, the whole setup process. Uh, I'm just going to video the important steps. The denning is pretty involved to set it up. It actually comes with a microphone for sound calibration. And, you know, I'm not going to show you how to, like, hook up the speakers to the stereo because I'm sure everybody knows how to do that. Um, but, you know, we'll just go over to basics and, you know, I'll kind of show you the stuff as I unbox it. So, enjoy the video. And let's get this show on the road. Yeah, that's the, uh, see that? Microphone for calibration. So, that's pretty neat. It's pretty involved, apparently. What's up, hon? Do you need some? You look like you're trying to get through here. What's up? I was just looking for something here. Hello, Beth. Remote control. That's a lot of buttons. All right, let's see if I can get this out of here without dropping it. So this receiver... Um, so the thing with the Serwin Vegas, or really any floor speaker, is you want to drive it with about 50% of the peak wattage, like I mentioned in the intro video. And um, these speakers have a peak wattage of 300. So you want to be for, you know, perfect. So Vega recommends 150 watts per channel. Um, so this receiver is 140 watts per channel. But let me tell you something. If you want to get high wattage receiver, you're going to spend some money. Um, for that wattage this was probably about the cheapest one you can get and this guy was 1800 bucks go ahead and take her out of the box here i'm just going to set this off to the side for now uh, once i get it oh she's a lowly man once i get it in the entertainment center i'll show it to you guys and I, you know you know I'll, I'll demo it like i always do i'll go over all the buttons we'll look at everything together so Stay tuned. My lunch just arrived. Sorry for the interruption. Sorry, guys. I'm eating. I'm starving. I worked all day. And by the way, that's why y'all haven't seen me. I've been working like nonstop. Uh, I just haven't had a chance to really make any videos. So I apologize for that. I feel like I'm always apologizing for not making videos. But obviously, the videos are on the way. So... I do have some more 310 stuff I'm going to be doing as well, a JBL Party Box 310. We'll get to that. But uh, right now, I'm really, really super excited about these. My first set of these I bought when I was about 16 years old. And they were single ohm speakers. Uh, they were 300 bucks a pop. Same wattage, 300 peak watts. And, but they were single ohm, so that, them suckers could go low. Uh, the frequency on these on the low end is 29 hertz, which is pretty awesome. Um, I don't know if my old ones went that low or not, but I'm really surprised that they're a, almost the same price as they were, you know, back when I bought mine. It's basically the same model. Um, they're fuse protected. They have a fuse in there. Now, the fuse is for the base, okay? You can still blow out your tweeters and mids. So you don't want to overpower the speaker. Um, receiver's open. Let's get on with opening these. Um, I'm super excited, guys. Sorry. I'm all over the place. I haven't eaten since like 8 o'clock this morning. I'm hungry. All right. Let's get one of these bad boys out. I got to work again tomorrow. It's Saturday today. I got to work tomorrow, too. So just a Red Bull today. No booze. I try not to drink on school nights because I'm a good boy. But uh, yeah, just a Red Bull tonight. Plus, I want to be sober when I hook this all this up. Man, that's a good pizza. Oh, thank God. I thought it was a box within a box. I hate when that happens. Get rid of that. These were shipped FedEx. By the way, I freaking hate Federal Express. 
I ordered these things on like Sunday. They shipped Monday, and they arrived at the Federal Express place on Monday, and they literally sat there for four days. No bullshit. They sat at the same location. Me, the same location for four days. Just ridiculous. FedEx sucks so bad. Um, they were supposed to be here Wednesday, and then they were supposed to be here Thursday. Then they were supposed to be here yesterday. And, you know, of course I wrote to FedEx to tell them they suck. So, um, the speaker showed up today. Finally. But, yeah, I want to be careful getting these out of here. They got the, they do have the covers on them, the dust covers. So, just want to be careful. They're not that bad. They're only 50 pounds a piece. They don't have that giant magnet in them like car speakers, so they're not terrible. You know, a lot of people... Doo -doo -doo -doo. A lot of people don't read their manuals. Let me tell you something. This is one of my critical points. Critical point number one. Read your manual. There's so much information in here. If you don't read your manual, you're never going to know. There's a reason the manufacturer puts these in there. I'm not saying read all the safety precautions and all that. I'm saying read about the speaker that you bought. Uh, looks like there's a fuse here. I don't know if that's a spare or that's one I got to put in there. Sorry, I got to take a bite of pizza here. Good pizza. That's Mario's Pizza in Delaware. Very good. Oh, it's Grubhub stuff, Grubhub, and um, what's the other one? I can't even remember. DoorDash and Grubhub. I'm going to get fat. Real fat. All right, so check it out. So there you go. That's the SL12. It's pretty nice looking speaker, nice looking unit. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and take the dust cover off. Or the grill is, I think they call it the grill. Oh boy, they're in there good. I like that. They used to come off real easy. So there you go. It's called a high excursion woofer. That thing really will go low. You guys are gonna be, I'm telling you, you're gonna be shocked here. Alright, just get ready to run the wires to the back of the, the denim receiver here. Uh, this is a 9.2 receiver. As you can see, there are lots and lots of connections. Uh, this thing does all kinds of crazy stuff. So I just wanted to show you the back of it. I'm not going to really get into the detail of every connection. Uh, basically, all I'm, all I'm using is a couple of video connections and, uh, and speaker connections right now. So that's the back of the Denon AVR X4700H. Lots of stuff. All right, guys, so I'm at the point where I'm getting the wires ready to hook it up to the new receiver and everything. Uh, I just showed you the back of the receiver, and I'm doing the banana plugs here. Um, the banana plugs are great. I definitely recommend using them. Uh, as for wire, I'm using SCAR wire. It's oxygen-free copper. Uh, it's actually tinned. You can see it doesn't look like copper because it's actually tinned. Um, just keeps everything real clean. And it basically has like no resistance. I'm, they recommend 16 gauge wire for these speakers. I always use 12 gauge. Uh, there's no reason not to. It doesn't cost that much more. And you know, this is high current stuff. The less you know, the less resistance you have, the cleaner your sound's going to be. Um, so then I got these. Uh, these are Media Bridge. Um, banana connectors that I'm using and these things are great they really make for a clean installation you can see there's no strands of wire hanging out uh, they're corrosion resistant they're really easy to install you just um, you know strip like a half inch of insulation off your wire then you stick the wire up through their banana plug and you can see there's just a little wire sticking through there and then you just umbrella it you umbrella the strands around this golden crimper thing there. The golden thing in there has a bunch of teeth on it. You don't want them all bunched together. You kind of 
want to spread them out as much, you know, as best as you can. They ain't got to be perfect. Um, you know, this ain't like it's a hundred thousand dollar stereo system. So then this cap just goes on there. You can see it's got a little O-ring in there. And that's to keep from getting electrolysis. Um, you always want something separating the different metals. Otherwise, the current will cause a little corrosion and stuff. So uh, these are supposed to be corrosion proof. And you can see the banana plugs have these little grooves in there. Um, these are 24 karat gold plated. And it has these little grooves in there. And this actually compresses when you stick it in there. So it keeps it tight. Uh, very nice. I definitely recommend this wire, the SCAR audio wire, and these uh, Media Bridge banana plugs are great. And they weren't super expensive. So, yeah, these are just, just great items to use. Keeps everything real clean and professional looking. All right, so we're going to try this now. I got everything's connected, I believe. So we're going to get turn the receiver on. See if we can find my connection here. Oh, there we go. Detecting device. So that my Samsung TV is detecting the receiver, it looks like. So the receiver asked me what language I wanted, and I did that earlier. Let's see, it says speaker setup. So, excuse me. I'm just using the quick start guide right now. I probably have to download the app on the phone. Set up. New device. Home theater. Then in. I believe we're in HDMI too. Yeah, HDMI two. Let's connect. I don't really care about the remote. All right, so that works. So my Samsung remote is turning it on. In theater only. Turn it on. And let's see what happens here. I saw Denim pop up for a split second. There we go. All right, so this so I don't have nine channels hooked up. I just have the stereo hooked up. But basically, if you go through this setup, um, you'll connect the microphone to the receiver. Uh, like I showed you guys earlier, the receiver comes with this microphone for calibrating the sound. And I may still go through it um, just to check it out because it will actually, the receiver will adjust itself to the acoustics of the room and for where you're sitting and everything. So the receiver does a lot. And I'm going to use the Denon remote just to make sure I'm pressing the right buttons here. Do you have more than nine speakers not counting the so No. Next. Next, 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 next. No. No. Yeah, so I don't have the Dolby yet. We're going to skip all this. Two speakers. None. None. So, yeah, so basically there's nothing really to set up yet uh, but you can see it's pretty cool this nice on-screen setup is nice do we hear the left front speaker i believe we do yes 
Do we hear the right front speaker? I believe we do. The normal acoustic characteristics of any listening room can adversely affect the sound quality. All right, so this is where you get to the, where you hook up the, um, the microphone. I'm just gonna skip that for right now. I'm not too worried about it. I wanna try these speakers with you guys. Uh, please connect the included antennas. We got the Bluetooth connected. Next. Place the next. Network connection. Next. That's done. I can hear it. Yes. Eastern Standard. I didn't do any TV yet. So I think we're just going to. Yeah, we can do this next because I have the ARC hooked up. So so it has the ARC has a it's audio return channel. So that's pretty cool. So on that HDMI ARC connection, you have the video connection coming from the receiver, but you also have the audio going to the receiver. So that's pretty neat. All in one connection. Uh, TV's audio sent to the AV using ARC. Yes. Next. So this looks pretty simple. Uh, the only thing I have connected right now is the PlayStation. Uh, which video input you want to use? HDMI. That's right. Next. Games and next verify you can see the video and hear the audio. I guess I gotta turn the PlayStation on. So let's go ahead and hit next. And there you go. So that's working beautifully. I'll tell you this is a pretty easy setup. Um, the last big receiver I set up like this wasn't wasn't digital. You didn't set it up on a TV, you just kind of plugged everything and pushed buttons to Get whichever source you wanted. PS4. We are done. I agree. I got to get the app. I'll, I'll, I will review the app later. Right now, I really want to get some sound going. And I'm sure you guys feel the same way. The Heos app is required to access online music. All right, that's fine. I don't need that. Let's select something else here. So we can go to TV audio. So I just pushed TV audio button on the... Uh, on, the um, on the remote. And you can see it switched over here. So I would imagine if I go to BIOS, I should have TV now. Yes. Don't get needles or pens or radios and needles. Don't take Ozempic if you or your family ever had medullary thyroid cancer. Or so we have sound. Neoplasia syndrome type two. Or if a let's see if I can connect this via Bluetooth to my phone here. Yep, there's the receiver. All right, so the receiver is now connected to my phone. All right, so I hit Bluetooth on the remote, uh, paired it up with my phone here. So I think we're ready to play some music. Now I haven't adjusted any settings on the Denon yet, so I'm sure we're just running flat. And I don't have my awesome mic on the camera either. So this is just going to be a little quick demo. Um, then I'll get the better mic out and we'll get some bass going and stuff like that. My God. See, this is why I say don't buy two parties, party speakers. Do not buy two party speakers. Buy a stereo system. 
This sounds amazing. Of course, we gotta listen to my girl crunching chips on top of it, but. Yeah, we hear you crunching back air. It sounds amazing, guys. It really sounds amazing. I, I'm not even sure how loud the receiver goes, but if I go much louder than that, it'll it'll start overwhelming the camera mic. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? I'll try to find something with some serious bass. This goes pretty low. Again, keep in mind, I haven't adjusted any frequency levels. It should be playing flat right now. All right, here we go. That's the one I want. Um, this sounds better than any of these party speakers I've tested. Uh, these, the Sirwin Vegas aren't super high-end speakers. Um, they're a decent brand. They have rock and bass. That's why I like them so much. Uh, this isn't, you know, you can get way better stuff, way more crisp and everything, even though this does sound beautiful. But uh, very happy with it so far. I'll be doing some more playing with it. I'll... Um, I'll do, I'll do some, uh, you know, I'll do some, uh, some copyrighted music for you guys with some serious bass and demo, you know, I'll demo everything. I'll get around to it. It's just going to take a little time, but, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The Sermon Vegas rock definitely recommend them. We'll see how the receiver does. It seems pretty cool so far, but, uh, yeah, it sounds amazing. Thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. Like always, you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. See you next time. Cheers.